Angeles, it's, you know, I've had the pleasure of having my show several times. I've always said, mm -hmm. you're the best kept secret ever made. You've knocked out UFC top guys. You've knocked out guys from Europe. A lot of people thought you beat Roy McDonald. Mm -hmm. How frustrating is it for you that it's almost like you're still in the shadow because you don't talk trash. You're not hanging out with uh, the president's sons. You're not getting <laughs> into uh, brawls with older men. It's just you go in there, you act a professional, and you go home. It's yeah. Does it bother you that we sort of overlook you and, because there's not that sexy white mm -hmm. noise? Uh, yeah, I guess it, it bothers a little bit, but it doesn't really bug me. Um, you know, I'm still not going to change the way I act, you know, the way I talk, that's not going to change me. But uh, eventually, you know, people realize, you know, I've been here for a long time and I've been fighting, I've been beating top guys, but, you know, still not showing that love. But it's getting better now, you know what I mean? It's getting better. I just got to keep winning these fights, you know, and you know, let's see. Let's see if you uh, make some noise like this. We just heard Rory say that when this tournament started, he envisioned mm -hmm. you guys meeting at the end of it. When this started, did you think the same thing? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and now that you guys are going to be rematching, I mean, what type of Rory McDonald do you expect to see? Do you expect to see a better one, different mm -hmm. one? What do, you, what do you think when you guys get in there? I expect uh, the better one for sure. You know, uh, I think it's going to be more prepared this time, you know, for me. Uh, maybe, you know, at the last time he didn't really respect me as, you know, as a fighter like the way he should. That's, you know, my opinion, you know, I think he's going to come way more prepared this time. You know, he's going to come ready for the leg kicks. And uh, like I said, you know, I said this before, you know, good fighters, you know, when we fight each other, bring out the best of each other, you know, and that's what I'm expecting here. You know, I'm training hard. I'm sure he's training hard too. You know, he just had a fight, so he's in shape. You know, I'm going to be in shape. I've been training and man, I'm just really looking forward to it. I mean, I'm happy. I'm excited. You know, it's been a slow year for me, you know, just two fights, and I want to stay more busy. But, uh, you know, it's here now, you know, nine weeks away. Man, I'm super excited, I'm pumped, and I can't wait. I can't wait to fight him again. And originally, this fight was supposed to take place <clears throat> in September, the mm -hmm. finals, ended up getting pushed back to October. Uh, was that something that ended up benefiting you, do you feel like, too? Or would you have preferred to have the momentum just keep rolling and get in there as soon as you could? I would prefer to keep, you know, fight as soon as possible, you know. Uh, because, like I said, I'm 31 years old, and I'm getting older. I want to get as much fights as I can, you know. Uh, but, you know, it wasn't that bad. It was just a month, pushed back a month and a half. You know, I can deal with that. You know, if it was December, then I was like, ah, oh, man, come on. I can't wait that much longer. And I just fought in July. I'm going to wait six more months. But uh, everything worked out really good. You know, I think end of October is a great date. You know, uh, the main thing is just to stay healthy. You know, I've been healthy the whole, you know, the whole throughout the whole tournament. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong, and uh, it's a good date. You know, I'm I'm glad everything. You know, his part is worked out. You know, because I want the best of him. You know what I mean? Uh, I think uh, extra kid is just gonna add more motivation for him, like he did for myself. You know, so I'm really expecting the best out of him in this fight. You mentioned that he felt that he didn't respect you. I think we all know how good you are. Why would you? <laughs> Um, I really didn't respect me. It's like uh, maybe he didn't expect. Underestimated. Maybe underestimated. That's maybe that's the word that I was trying to use. Underestimated, and not not respect. You know, he's a respectful guy like myself. You know, I like that. But uh, definitely underestimated. That's the word that I was trying to say for sure. I'm sure you know after you lost him the first time, it, it, it built a fire in you to get to this mm -hmm. position again. To get to is there some kind? Of, is there like a reward in the fact that you got here, or is it like? Close. It's closer. It's just the motivation is mm. stronger now that you finally reached this point to finally get rid of it. Definitely. You know, two out of three, you know, motivation is always just growing. You know, um, I think I'm still getting better. I'm still learning. You know, uh, you always learn a lot more when you lose a fight, you know, and I learned a lot. And I learned so much on that fight, you know, just uh, the heart that he brought, you know, in this on, on that last one. You know, guy had one leg and still was able to finish, you know, on top on that last round. So I really learned a lot from him from that fight. I got him to thank for that. Me definitely made me a better fighter. You know, I already showed that against Koroshkov. You know, the my fight mentality, the IQ. I think everything just got better. And uh, I'm still learning. You know, I'm still getting better, still fixing some stuff. And uh, can't wait to show it in yeah, October. More what? We'll see. We'll see. That always something new. <laughs> Douglas, uh, Tom Brady had the famous line, 
I see everything better because I, have the, I feel like they have the answers to the test. Mm -hmm. Koreshkov, you just spent with him and with the uh, mm -hmm. We saw MVP, made him look almost like an amateur. Mm -hmm. Is that the same for you, where you now feel like everything is just clicking, like, you know, whether yeah. it's mental, physical, mm -hmm. but you have the answers to a test. Right, exactly. That's how I feel, you know, more complete, you know. I think the, the one thing that was missing the most was the mental side, you know. I was always kind of, you know, holding back too much, maybe scared to get tired, you know, stuff like that. Now, man, I'm just there. I'm just fighting, you know. It doesn't matter, you know, what he brings, what the guy brings. I just got to fight it, you know what I mean? Got to win all these fights no matter what. You know, the mentality needs to be strong for that. And that's where I think I'm getting better at. How much of this fight, um, how much of this camp will focus on that first fight? Um, I don't really focus on that. I'm just moving forward, you know, getting better, you know, everywhere as much as I can. You know, I let my coaches handle, you know, he's, they're the one that watches the videos and game plans and stuff like that. For me, I'm just there to train. I show up, do what they tell, what they tell me to do and, you know, work. That's my job. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's a big fight. You know, he's got a big name. He's a definitely, you know, uh, a worthy opponent. You know, we can fight five times. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just a, a fight that people want to see as well. You know, we had a great fight the first time around. Not so much on my side, but, you know, it was a good fight. You know, people told me it was a good fight, so I believe him. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens, but I'll definitely be open for sure.